the 38 millimeter howitzer bait cannon when you're fishing in south texas and want to catch fish in florida Whoa. uh hey what's going on youtube so for today's video what i'm going to be doing is uh this is a project that i would started working on last summer uh, and I had originally planned to go fishing this weekend to give you all some content But then it rained apparently there was some like tropical storm in the area and Me being the responsible guy I did all my chores last weekend on my first good weekend with my knee and I planned for to do fishing this weekend, but then it rained whatever so it's almost September, and September, October, November, surf fishing is on fire. The reds are running, there's plenty of pompano around, and it's just, it's a good time to be out on the beach. And the water's a lot cleaner then too. So, there's some fish here locally that I've still yet to catch. And one of them is actually a shark. And I would love for this year to get a shark on film. So even if it's a small one, I really don't care because uh, the one of the things that I plan on doing for like my bait molds for my cannon, my, my big cannon, is to use something about this length, is about three or four inches, and I got these cap ends here to do that for my bait mold because it'll be able to stand up in the freezer. I'm gonna put my bait mold, my leader, the hook, everything all in there and whatnot. I understand a lot of people like it a little longer. Right now I'm just going with what I got. Okay. So this is the valve that I'm using here. Everything that I got here, I got from Home Depot with the exception of the tire valve that I got over at Napa. And this is one for a tractor. You can see here. And I got this one because uh, I do know how to do tires. I am a mechanic and I know how to do tires. And I would like something that's a little more rigid on this. And this has a rubber seal. I just have to figure out what size. And like I said, I'm a mechanic, so I got a dial indicator. Not that one, a caliper. And that's 38 thousandths. So, uh, 0. 0.638 thousandths. So, that's like a 5 eighths. So, this is a 5 eighths. So, it's going to be a little tight for my half inch, but I mean, I might be able to squeeze it on anyways, put a little rub, um, lube on it, and it should still work. So the way I plan on doing this is I found this piece right here that already has a 45 one way. I had a, a yeah, 45 going one direction. So I plan on setting it up like this. And I'll have one piece with the cap end there. Another piece with this T and then <clears throat> like that and then this would be mirrored on the other side and so pretty much it's gonna make like a T and that's gonna be the base of it to make it nice and flat so that you don't have to hold it up or anything or maybe not you but I don't have to hold it up so um yeah let's get this uh let's get her done and get ready for get ready for some shocks okay so first thing i'm gonna want to do is try to drill out that hole so I'm gonna pick one of these cap ends and put and drill my hole for the valve.
Okay. So this isn't going in. So I'll save this part for last. I'll glue that on last and I'll get everything else going. I hope I grabbed the right piece. I don't think I did. It's gonna be lost. Whoopsie. This was the piece I wanted to use. Not this one. Dang it. Need more. It's gonna be lopsided. Function over form, or appearance, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be like really, really hot. So that's basically going to be it. It'll be able to stand up on its own. There should be enough air capacity there. I'll put the tire valve there. And there should be enough air capacity that uh, it should launch it right out of there. So. That, that's pretty much going to be it. I, I really don't think I need uh, to show you guys the rest. Now, this isn't a professional build. This is a DIY or DIY build. So, yeah, uh, the rest of it's pretty straightforward, plain and simple. So, uh, you know, look for it on the upcoming video. Yeah, so... Look forward to an upcoming video here soon um, where I take this out on the surf and see if I can catch some uh, shark or maybe some of them bull reds are going to be out there this year. So, all right. See you guys later.
Bye. What's going on, guys? So after I put on the bait launcher, I was showing off my design over to uh, one of the firefighters. And, you know, firefighters, you know, uh, a lot of them tend to uh, be into military stuff and whatnot. Uh, he actually made the comment that it looks like a howitzer. I was like, you know what? You're right. I actually looked up uh, what it would translate to since this is an inch and a half pipe. It would be a 38 millimeter howitzer bait cannon. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh?